Hello there, this is Ashra from Zenon Studios and uh, we are beginning our series of introduction to Archicad. We previously um, seen the, two, the 2D tools, the tools under the document tab here and I'm putting link in the description for that video. Perfect. So over to the design and as we had said in the during the tutorial for the document tools we say the same way that you use 2d tools is the same way that you use 3d tools perfect so today i want us to start with the wall tool okay so if i click the wall tool the info box will give me very many options here but i prefer going into the dialog settings you can press con control t or press that button so I want to change this wall as you can see we have three types of walls we have the complex profiles these you create yourselves then we have the um, composite so the composite is uh, the wall is made of two uh, materials and it has multiple layers or leaves and then this first one the basic I want the basic. The basic is made of a single material, uh, that's a single leaf and I'm changing the thickness there to 225, perfect. Then the first thing that we see here is um, story, top link, story, then the ground flow, then that reminds me of a setting that we've not covered yet. So I'll first of all hit OK and come over to my right where we have the project map here. Uh, so head over to the ground floor, right click and go into the story settings. All you can simply press Ctrl 7 on your keyboard to access the story settings. Perfect. So as you can see we have a story which is the ground floor and then um, it is at the project 0 and its height the next story is 3000. And my next story, I want to say it is the roof in this case. I won't care about these elevations. And this other story, I will simply delete. Then once I go back to my ground floor, I'm going to insert a story below it. And I'm going to call it the foundation. And um, I want its height to be 1000. And I'm going to click OK. Uh, it's saying deleting stories. I'm going to say delete anyway. Perfect. So I'm going to go back into my dialog settings up here. Perfect. So now, as you can see, it is telling me that the home story is the foundation. Let me first close this. I need my ground floor as, as the home story. So come back here. So we have the home story as the ground floor. Then these, the walls that we are going to actually construct or draw are linked to, to the upper story, which is the roof. What does that mean? That means that these walls are automatically, if at all they are coming from the ground floor to the roof, they're automatically going to have a height of 3000. You can see this is grayed out. I cannot change it. That's because the walls are linked to the top story uh, then to project zero I want the wall now this is like the distance between the project zero and the starting point of the wall I want it to remain zero so I'll simply hit okay perfect now the geometry method of drawing the wall you have that one single single wall I want this one which is the multi wall or the poly wall whatever so i'm going to come in here and akikad prefers that you draw um in the counterclockwise direction what does that mean that means draw from your left towards your right something like that in the anti-clockwise direction so i'm going to draw a simple plan here and i'm going to give this a distance of 8000 hit enter i'll go up by um, a distance of um, let's say 4000 hit enter then i'll come back in by a distance of 3000 enter 
go back out by small distance then come back in by still a small distance go up by small distance then I'll need to close this off uh, there then I'm writing there like that perfect and uh, we've drawn our walls perfect so if you head over here to the 3d tab um, let it load you can see the kind of walls that we've actually drawn perfect then I'm going to insert some internal walls in here and I want uh, my internal walls to be um, to, to, to be less thicker than this so press alt on your keyboard and uh, put it over your wall so that it can grab all the settings of that wall just like that then I'm going to come over here and I'm simply going to change the thickness using the info box and I'm changing this to 1 1 1 2 1 1 2 25 Perfect. Then I'll begin drawing my internal walls. I want an internal wall over here. Uh, as you can see, uh, I need to draw in the counterclockwise way. So what can I do? So I'm going to simply snap over here. Then come over to this other side. Uh, click there. Then you will have your wall there. So I'm going to also insert another wall somewhere here. Uh, guys, we are trying to learn how to model. So I'm not going to care about these distances so much. So I will draw something like this. Could stop it there. And close it right there. Then uh, snap there and move downwards and then um, do something like that the thing that looks like an eye is actually is uh, is actually a perpendicular sign yeah so I will also draw another one at the midpoint here that sign there is the perpendicular. Yeah, perfect. So um, that is our. This is how we can draw walls in Akikad. Uh, sometimes you would want to change what is visible in here. So since my wall tool is active, I'm going to simply press Control A on my keyboard. That selects all the walls, and then I'm going to. I will simply. Um, go into the settings of the wall you can press ctrl T on your keyboard and then I'm going to come over here to floor plan and section then I'm going to come over to cut surfaces then override cut fill pens click this come over here and click both then you get these two options here I want my pen to be black so I'll simply select a black pen and hit OK and uh, perfect there you get your walls that are black just like that perfect all I prefer a gray color so I'm going to say control all come over here to the settings and um, I'm going to change this pen to, I'm going to change this pen to 81. This is the pen I usually use for walls. 81. I'm going to hit OK, and uh, I shall have something like that. Perfect. This is better off. Then uh, um, sometimes you may want uh, to change the color of the walls in your 3D. As you can see, this is what we have so far in our 3D. You may want to change these walls so I'm going to since my wall tool is active simply press ctrl all go over into its settings and uh, come over here to model 
Then I'm going to change this color to a preferred color. I prefer using plastic laminate. Then I'm going to link all these surfaces so that they have the same color. I'm going to hit OK. Uh, perfect. And there you have your plastic laminate color. Perfect. So in our next tutorial, we are going to look at how we can actually place a slab underneath these walls so that uh, we can start constructing a real project. Thank you for watching. I remain Ashra from Zenon Studios. See you in my next tutorial about the slab. Okay, bye. Love you.